Yeah, she couldn't just stop. She couldn't do it one time and let it go, man. You better have fell down. And there's a lot I can say about that. Maybe a theory on why she did it. Maybe she was trying to keep her customer and try, trying to get, I don't want to say that, okay? Let's just say that, let's just say that dad was on pills in October. So I'm not going to go there. I showed you guys she assaulted him. I showed you guys she egged our house. I showed you guys that we were friends. I showed you guys that we've always taken care of her and treated her like family. And up until recently, she felt like she was. So you guys, I've shown you everything that I can show you to proclaim our innocence. So you can see that the text messages were real, that she felt like family, that we treated her like it, that we gave her money when she needed it. I've shown you guys everything that I can. So here's what I need from you. I need you guys to stop sending me her videos when she posts them. I need you to stop tweeting me, asking me to respond to more stuff that she's saying because I shouldn't have to respond to baseless claims that she has without any shred of proof at all after everything that I've just shown you. I shouldn't have to do that anymore. I shouldn't have to respond to stuff that she does have proof for because I'm telling you guys right now, she has text messages where dad was asking her for pills. She probably has text messages where she says she's on her way and to meet her in a fucking parking lot to give them to him. She has a picture of his penis on her phone because she got it from the ex-girlfriend. And she's joking about it to us. Hey, yeah, I got this picture from the ex-girlfriend. Yeah, you can see his crusty toes in it. So now I gotta prepare my father, a 66-year-old man, for the day that she leaks out a picture of his penis. Just like the picture of my brother's penis got leaked. I gotta prepare my dad for that day. So you guys, I want to shut the door on this right now because it's going from a YouTube thing to a real life thing because it's starting to get scary. I showed you guys the audio clips where she admitted to egging our house, where she said she'll kill us dead. She's going to blow our house up. She's going to terrorize us. And I'm telling you guys, that's what she's doing right now. She is terrorizing us. Last week, I hired security. Now you guys just found out about it yesterday, but the day our house got egged for the second time and she admitted to doing it, I decided to hire private armed security because we were afraid to go to sleep at night. The first night that security was here, they told us that a car came barreling down the road, pulled, in, pulled into our driveway and they left and it matched her description. The other night, our security told us, hey, so you know, and he knows who to look for. We gave him her car information and what she looks like, and he told us straight up, hey, the other night, about 4 o'clock in the morning, a car pulled into your driveway. We turned on the lights, and it was T, and it was her, and she left. You know, the security stays till about 6.30 in the morning, every morning, and last night, he had to leave around 4. So Bridget, because she's so scared, woke up at four o'clock in the morning when he left so she could watch our house. And sure enough, a car comes pulling up into our driveway at five o'clock in the morning. And when Bridget turned on the, the porch light, the car backed up and sped out. Now this is a private road, you guys, so people don't have any reason to turn down it because you can't go straight, you have to turn around. So when somebody's saying that they'll blow up your house, that they're gonna terrorize you, they've egged your house twice, that they're gonna poison your animals when I'm in Orlando, that becomes, a, that becomes a cause for concern. And I don't wanna feed into that anymore. I don't want to keep talking about her so she comes to our house one night and throws a brick through the window or jimmies the door open and comes into our room while we're asleep. It's getting too far. We've had to hire the security for 24 hours when I'm in Orlando. We're, hot, we're bringing cameras to our house tomorrow. Guys, this is different now. It's not a YouTube thing. This is a real life thing and our lives are in danger. We have to get a no trespassing order or what do we got to do, Bridget? Uh, I don't know. We filed police reports. So for those of you that stayed with us after this and stayed subscribed and have our backs and showed your support, thank you so much. You guys mean everything to us. We do this for you guys. For those of you who are able to see that her story changes every time she says it and you would point it out to us and you would know that in one video she says we gave her nothing and then in the same video we gave her some or how in one video, well, 
you know, we always had to film when we gave her money, but in the other one that we would meet in parking lots and not film it, you can see that these don't go together and they don't make sense. How she got kicked out of her house and she's living in a tent and then an hour later she's live streaming from GTA. That is a super long extension card. It's wildly out of control, you guys. It's getting scary when you're showing up at our house after you've threatened our lives. So I wanna stop talking about her here, you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. At this point, I'm done with it. Thank you so much. We love you. And to T, leave us the fuck alone. Please, just go the fuck away.